Okay, folks, Larry Pesafanta with mid-afternoon update. Uh, stocks are a little bit lower. They started higher. Actually, the Dow Jones Industrial Average E-mini S&P went to the exact 61% retracement of the high that we made way back on May 1st. And to the tick, folks, 33,848. I couldn't believe it when I saw it myself. Probably just an intermediate bounce from there, but it sold off a tiny bit from that spot. Uh, everything is moving down with the exception of gold, rallying quite a bit after dropping uh, $80 in two days. Uh, Silver is also hanging in there pretty good. Treasury bonds, treasury notes selling off a little bit. And the U.S. dollar has found some support, but nothing really dramatic to uh, write home about, actually. Things are relatively quiet. The big thing in the news, the fact that they now have a coronated king over there uh, in the U.K., and boy, they sure make a big deal out of that. It's a banking holiday, and everything else is a holiday over there. Plus, tomorrow they have something else going on. So they really love their kings over there. And I guess that's why we have July 4th to be thankful for, boys and girls. That's all I can say. We'll see whether that's going to be correct or not. Now, we have, we're having incredible volatility, folks, which is really great. And one of the things that we're going to focus on when we come on to my show uh, Fibonacci 24-7 here in a few minutes is I want to go over the uh, the crude oil uh, charts because we had a lot of fun with uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on Friday showing some of those uh, pictures that were coming up on the charts and I wanted to review some of those and show intraday how you could try to handle those but it does give us some indication that possibly with crude oil, gasoline, and natural gas, everything being up today, that usually tells us that maybe there's a bottom in there. That's what we try to do is determine, you know, whether we can determine whether these bottoms are tradable because we don't know what's going to happen next. No one does. So the only thing you can do is to prepare your trade so that you don't have to risk very much. And when you're wrong, you know you're wrong and you just move on. Folks, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. The problem is not recognizing it. That's the problem. I'm going to take a break now. We'll be right back with Trade What You See. And we're going to start out with the stock market, of course, and then we're going to move on to the heating oil, gasoline, and crude oil. We'll be right back. <laughs> 